Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be going over some C2 gameplay solo standard. I know a lot of you guys struggle in solo standard so we're going to be checking out what you can do better as this will probably, probably relate to most of you. Uh, I do want you guys to know that there is a 100 key giveaway going on in the Discord below. You can join that contest as there are only about 42 guys in it right now. Get your chance at 100 Rocket League keys. And remember, you can get your replay analyzed on my Discord server, uh, the text channel, replay analysis. And I hope you guys enjoy this video today. And I hope you guys stick around and make sure to hit that sub button. Alright, so with today's replay analysis, we're going to be looking at Invader Zed. He's on the PC, and he's playing some Champ 2 Solo Standard. Uh, right here off the start, he's going to push that one back to the right side, back to Hayes. Um, right there, we have a bad challenge. I'm pretty sure he probably realized it after this fact, uh, but let's take a look at this. Hayes already has this ball. He has this touch. It's going way too high. He uh, misreads it, maybe? And some reason jumps for that. I don't know if he was going for a bump. Bump would have been the only play there. Um, let's read his comment real quick when he submitted the replay on the replay analysis channel. Um, he said, I think I have below average mechanics and definitely need improvement there, as well as my overall game speed. Hesitate more often than I should, and any tips you have through your commentary would be greatly appreciated. All right, Invader Zed, let's get started um, a little bit. Right there, obviously, how we talked about, uh, it was a little of a hesitant move to jump for that ball. And honestly, it was just a bad move overall to jump for that ball. So just kind of be aware of when you're going to be able to have a chance or a play on the ball. Here, you're kind of staying opposite. Good play. Um, your teammate should be back for this. He gets a good block. Um, good recover there off the back wall. That was a pretty good, pretty good move you had. Um, that's a good shot. And, oh... Very close shot, my man. Um, you're heading back. You get bumped a little bit. Not a big deal. You need to be focusing on getting small boost pads and turning here. You're taking a little bit too big of a route back, I feel like. Um, you did get bumped, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time around. We'll see if it keeps happening. Um, you're giving that... Ooh, okay. So, let's go over this. Um, right here, you probably... you probably Let's go back one more. Let's get a better look. So since you went all the way back, you were put in a weird spot. Um, you would have been able to challenge this a lot easier if you didn't run all the way back and would have picked, a, picked up some small boost pads. Uh, basically, it would have been your better play here. But Okay, so you went all the way back, and you could still revive this yet. You see that he kind of loses control here. I don't know if you can see that he kind of puts the ball way in front of him. Uh, the best he can do if you challenge this on the right side of that ball is put it to your corner, which your teammates will be back in time for. So you really should challenge this one fast. Challenge that right side of the ball. Make sure he can't shoot. Instead, you kind of give him a dribbling chance. And I see that you give him, you know, you, you give your teammate the chance to get back and maybe get the demo or a block. Unfortunately, your teammate misses, and it kind of screws you over. Um, solid round, that was, I would say it's your fault. Um, your teammate could have maybe prevented it, but... You probably should have initially challenged that ball before um, by just picking up some boost pads. But uh, it's a good challenge right there. Good 50, and that's a good passing play right there. That should be a yeah, good good pass. Uh, that's something a lot of you guys need to do a little bit more of is just passing the ball to your teammate and kind of relying on them to get the next touch and then rotating back in case they miss. Uh, then you can have a free pass to yourself actually. So uh, this is good play right here. Um, by not taking that boost but what was a bad play is you taking this boost and running toward the net go all the way around there's no reason he has that ball right um, and the best he's gonna do is probably put that he's might put that you know front middle you have no idea where he's gonna put this ball basically he's not putting it backwards so you need to be going behind him to back post and rotating correctly um, because with this rotation could have been very dangerous you're lucky they had nobody cheating up that could have shot that ball right back in or put it across to another teammate. Uh, so rough rotation right there, but right now you've, your gameplay is not too bad. There's some some things you can definitely fix, which is good. Um, right here, flipping back. You got some boost pads. This is good. You stole a big boost. Not a big problem. Um, you were a little low there, and I think you accidentally took that middle one, which is fine. That's a good hit. 
Uh, you get bumped by your teammate again, unfortunate. Uh, I mean, this is just more of a, more or less a mechanical mistake. You kind of just did nothing with that ball. You passed it way soft. Um, I'm assuming you didn't try to backflip. Uh, either way, it wasn't a great pass. Didn't do much for your team. So you need to start rotating back as soon as possible here. Um, you guys are bumping each other a lot. I don't know if that has something to do with your awareness. Um, my latest video kind of actually talks about awareness and how it's the most underrated skill in Rocket League, in my opinion, where you need to be rotating your car um, camera angle and view and you know, going on and off of that ball cam, focusing on where your teammates are at all times so you're not smashing into them is very, very important. Good job taking some small boost there. Um, again, you waited. Okay, this is very dangerous. Um, your hesitation in net is very dangerous. Uh, I think you thought he might be able to catch up, but I, I don't know. I, I would have challenged that right away. You maybe, maybe thought Holy Hand Grenade had a chance at challenging that ball for you. Unfortunately, it looks like he didn't, and this should have been a goal by this guy. He just he went selfish and tried to oh, do it himself instead of passing in middle. Um, this is good way to stay back and be patient there. Your teammates aren't rotating at all either. I'm honestly so far I'm surprised this is champ two solo standard. Uh, most champ games are solo standard. Everyone rotates, you know, relatively well actually better than the standard half the time. So, and this is champ two, which is by all means basically champ three of regular standard so i mean i i kind of expected a little bit better rotation out of everybody so far but the overall gameplay uh mechanics i have been about champ two so let's see how we can fix a couple more things um that's a good ball to go for not a not a big problem you force the guy to hit the ball forcing the enemy to hit the ball stupidly is is never a problem as long as you're not putting yourself way too out of the play Sunday has something here. Okay, so right here, honestly, if you're going to be a a good, like, amazing teammate, because, honestly, I, I I struggle with this sometimes. I hate doing it. But you see Holy Hand Grenade. He's cheating up for some unknown reason right on your ass. You need to turn your, you need to turn around. Um, most likely, he's going to stay on it, and you're going to force a double commit. I don't know if he can't see you. Let's just go check him out. Let's go check. So yeah, he's on ball cam. He can't see anything. He thinks he's he thinks he's going middle for the pass. So that's not gonna work out for you. And you can kind of tell if a teammate doesn't realize you're there. Um, he'll be doing what um, he's doing here. And it looks like you do kind of go back because you noticed he was creeping over on you. Uh, so that's good awareness there. Good play. I have noticed you actually your awareness has been good. Um, those bumps I don't think had much to do with awareness really. They were just kind of unfortunate. So. I would, right now, a pro is definitely your awareness. Um, as you even looked back there to see what was coming. Very dangerous ball to go for. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so you need to go right now. And you went there. So, like, let's look how much time that is. That's a lot of time difference between when you should have went and when you did go. Right there, you should have been already up. I don't know if you thought Holy Hand Grenade was going up or not. And he did kind of go up and do nothing. Um, so that could be an excuse for this late, late jump. But you should have also been able to 50 that still. I just think you went a little bit slow there. You hesitated a little bit. Um, but good rotation back here. Way to get some boost pads again. That's something a lot of people struggle with is you're getting some boost pads. You kind of missed one there. Not a big deal. You have 50, so you're going to be all right. Good pass up. You saw the guy. That was a great pass. That could have been... I, I'm telling you what, this champ two solo standard, that usually is a ball hit at least center for you. So that was a great pass. Could have been executed way better by Holy Hand Grenade. Holy Hand Grenade's made so many mistakes this game, it's actually out of control. Um, you've made some questionable plays as well. But I haven't seen your teammate make too many mistakes, I don't believe. So I'm very curious to see if your teammate uh, starts you know, starts making mistakes because he's getting frustrated with the, how the game's going. But it is only one-to-one, -one, so we might not see that gameplay come out. So that would be great for you. Uh, this is definitely a ball for you to challenge. Um, interesting way to challenge it, which is fine. Holy Hand Grenade cuts straight across their front net for this ball for some unknown reason. Okay, you can go faster. Okay, so let's look at this. I feel like you're, um, you're flipping back and you're flipping to like get recovered is a little slow. Like right here, you can already flip. You can flip again. No reason you can't flip again. You're already committed to this corner. And you, wait, you waste a little bit there. You're not... You're not going full speed yet, so you could have 
you could have uh, done an extra flip, got it back a little bit faster in case something bad happened. Um, it's not a bad hit. You kind of cut him, but nothing bad there. Now you're kind of just checking it out. This is a good third man right here. You're kind of you're kind of cheating up in case there's a free ball or loose ball, but you're not you're not over committing yourself to where you can't get back in time for almost anything. Um, yeah, 15 boost. This could be dangerous. Um, you played it pretty well to keep it low, and your teammate takes a good touch on it. Um, ooh, that would have been a great start to your play right there. Um, you might have been able to make a double touch out of that. Would have been great. See right here. Okay. So I noticed this a lot is you're doing this thing where you're kind of slowly heading back. You you want to stay up, it seems like, but you know you shouldn't. So you start doing this thing where you don't boost back and you don't flip back. Um, I understand right here, maybe you thought you would get in his way if you, you know, flipped or something. But, I mean, let, you need to get back, basically. You know, whole hand grenade's up on their side at all times at this point, so... You need to get back and you need to be start flipping. Uh, could have been dangerous as they did win the 50. This is definitely your ball to go for. Um, looks like the teammate didn't think you were coming, but you didn't have a great hit anyway. You were just trying to get it out of the middle. It looked like you were kind of scared that they might be there. Um, he hits this one middle. That's a great, another great pass. Your passes seem like they're on point right now, honestly. Um, passing might be one of your biggest strengths so far this game with awareness. Um, way to keep checking back there. Another great awareness awareness play. Uh, let's see if just as... Yeah, see, he passed that out to you. That, that guy's making some solid plays so far. He's had some weak touches, but he's doing well. Um, you're heading back right here. You need to be picking up small boosts. You just missed about 36 boost. Let's, let's look at this. So you missed one boost. You missed two boost. And you dodged between the third boost. And you kind of missed that fourth boost, I believe, as well. So you at least missed three boosts and possibly four. So your boost manager, management kind of right there was kind of struggling. You need to be picking up those small pads. Um, you'd probably have boost right there, and you could have probably shot that. Um, let's just take a look and see if you would have probably been able to make this 2-1 to one here. So you would have had more boost. You would have been way closer to the ball, and you probably could have hit that before it got, you know, so far out of, out of the uh, net area. So you're flipping back. You are picking up small boost this time. So I think it was just an inconsistency there. You need to make sure you're doing it at all times. Um, I was going to say, I, I do remember you doing it well earlier. So I don't, I did think that was probably just one time thing. See, you're picking, okay. So I just called you out for it. And it feels like you could, almost, honestly, this was almost live. Because you picked up that one. And you saw Holy Hand Grenade going for the big, pa big boost. So you knew instantly that you had to pick up some small boost. And you swerve out of the way a little bit. And you pick up three small boost pads and you turn for a pass it's that's that's great gameplay right there um a great idea great thought process right there i want to see what happens out of this as your teammates don't seem to be winning too many 50s three 50s in a row straight up in the air um you get bumped again pretty good touchback from him but nothing nothing anyone could do about it with zero seconds on the clock uh, you're heading back. This is a weird kind of kickoff. I don't... Okay, I don't love this kickoff. Uh, you did here. Um, let's say you go right. That's fine. You you probably need to get that big boost. I don't... I guess I don't see a big deal of going right and not getting that big boost. Uh, maybe you... He was... I don't know. I, that might be your kickoff strategy. Might work for you. So, you do you. But right here, this was, in my eyes, a bad play. You know Holy Hand Grenade's probably just going to catch this ball and it's going to be a 50. So, it's not going to be that big of a deal. You know Holy Hand Grenade doesn't leave an open ball to himself. So, he's definitely going for that ball. You kind of forced a uh, hit there. Wasn't awful because he got a bad uh, 50 on that. Or not a bad 50, but a bad block. Honestly, if that player you smacked it at, if Spooky gets a good touch here, it's off your backboard and it's a free goal for them. Uh, it's very dangerous to hit that hit. Um, you got lucky. And you make a decent touch there and a decent touch there to see if you can get a pass. Nothing. Um, yeah, you need to get out of here right now. Stay back, stay back. Do not go up yet. You're cutting up too soon. Okay, so your teammates are being bad. Um, just Sunday just turned around for no reason right here. He should not be pushing this ball. Holy Grenade's still in that corner. You have two in the corner right now, right? 
you should actually not even be on this left side. This is too dangerous as it is. You should be a little bit more to the middle. Um, but you start cheating up here, and I knew instantly when you started cheating up that you were going for it, which is very dangerous. You already see just day, uh, just Zenday already in that area, so you should not be pushing this ball. Um, but you do push this ball, and this could maybe lead to a goal. Let's see what happens. Um, because you guys force a triple commit into their corner, they could have a counter attack here and see what, let's see what they bring up. Um, very weak. Okay, well, you got really lucky there. I got a very weak clear, a uh, very weak counter attack by them. Uh, it's a good 50 by your teammate. Your teammate might be able to... So they're double committing a lot. I don't know if you're noticing that at this point. You should be noticing it. You kind of missed a boost there, which is gonna, might be a problem later on on your way back to recover. Um, Hayes puts it over to the side. Should be an easy save for one of your guys. Um, yeah, that was looking a little bit risky. I'm not, I'm not too mad about that triple commit um, because your teammate did kind of set it up for a dangerous play. Okay, so right here, you you keep bumping your team, which you gotta you kind of gotta be aware of where your teammates are at. I guess your your awareness itself seems good, but the the kind of information on the field of where your teammates are at uh, and where the boost pads are at are kind of a little bit struggling here. So let's see, right here, just Zen Day is kind of in an awkward position. So I do understand that you're worried that they might have a shot, but you pushing him like you literally push to front post. And then bumping into him when he was like not moving. So you just kind of need to be more more aware of what's going on on the field. Um, but yeah, you get a bump there and then you go up the wall a little bit. You have three boosts. This is a very dangerous situation for your team. Um, you guys got a lucky double commit clear or triple commit clear if that was. And you're heading back. This is okay this time because you had zero and you needed a reset to be honest. So... Great 50 right there. That was a great pass again. Um, your passes are kind of on point this game. You should have more than a goal on your team, but they should probably have more than you know one goal as well. So great, pa uh, great block there. You got up there quick enough to get that block, and that's that's important. Uh, right here, you kind of cut off your teammate. Let's see if there was any reason for you to go for this. You know, it's a quick way to check to see if you're you should be going for this is by tapping that uh, off ball cam button. If you check by tapping that off ball cam button, you'd see instantly nobody. Let's see. How do we do that? Let's go to fly. No, it's fly good. Yes, you, you would you would see that that field is wide open for your teammate. Um, you hitting this ball just takes it completely out of the play. No reason to do it. Uh, you get a little, pretty good 50, though. You might be able to keep this alive. Nope, and it's pinched back to your side. Um, and you're coming on that ball side again, which is not good. So another reason you shouldn't be coming ball side here, um, you, you're in the way again. So you need to rotate back post because this is very dangerous uh, because you have one guy and he's going to be rotating front. He's going to be rotating front post, right? So if this if this man spooky gets a good 50 to the mid midfield, you're screwed. Um, you still might be screwed, to be honest. You kind of. You're going to be in the way, and Zenday is going to have to turn around and make a great save or a great play here, most likely. They put up a weak pass, and you have a one-on-one -on -one situation. So you're in a lucky, good position, uh, and a great flick from you there. Let's take a look at that flick one more time, because that was actually great control uh, and taking advantage of that 1v1 situation. You played it slow. You got it on your right side, and you did a back flip a little bit, or back, back side flip. And you put it right over Spooky's head. Uh, great finish to a pretty good game. Um, a couple things you need to be checking up on, as I mentioned through the game, is kind of your awareness where your teammates are. Don't rotate ball side. And do not pick up, do not forget to pick up those small boost pads. Those are very, very important. Um, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this replay analysis today. I love going over these and i have a discord in the description below like i said earlier you can put your replay in that discord chat text channel and i will take a look at it on the youtube channel go over it for everyone to see and this will help more than just you and i hope you guys like the content and subscribe to see some more thanks guys